Hi right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Resident Evil Code Veronica X Part 12. This is my third recording session. So as you can see with the number of saves there. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah, um, I wasn't happy about my last three or four videos and my last recording session. I really, really wasn't very good at commentating uh, at all, you know. I was getting my words jumbled up, I couldn't read off the screen very well. Um, so hopefully, uh, everything should return to normal tonight, hopefully. I don't know, I guess it was just a, a bad night for recording, so um, yeah, let's go. And also one, one of the parts, I think it might have been part 8 or 9, I don't know what one, but the camera was very squint <laughs> for like 8 minutes, uh, the, like the beginning of the video, like the first 8 minutes, so I wasn't very happy about that either. Right, I'll take that case out. Is there any more? Right, there's a key of a tag. Um, I do need that. Uh, I think I need it now, actually, so we'll take it. Uh, I think that's it. We'll open the case. Using our walk pick that we got in our last, uh, last video session. Um, yeah. It's secured with a simple walk, yeah. Use the walk pick. Don't mind if I do. And yep, I know what that is. Oh yes, broken powder. Nice. Very, very useful. So we'll deposit it. I don't really need it at this uh, present moment in time. But we'll take the broken arrows. And I think that's basically it, I think. Yep, that'll do. Okay, get the hanging out. If it, yep, it's already equipped. Nice. Right. Now, I need to figure out exactly where we're going. Right, that picture, I'm trying to think where the picture goes. Right, okay, do, 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 do. right, okay, I know, I know, I know. I know exactly where we're going. Back to the, the training facility. Is it a training facility, I think it's called? Yeah. So we'll go back there. The next two or three videos, we should be off this place. We should be on to our next location in the game. So I'm hoping anyway. Yeah. And I have to apologise guys for the lighting. I mean, this game's pretty difficult to record for. It's a pretty dark game. And a dog's running right beside me. <laughs> oh guys catching me. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely definitely talking better tonight, definitely. I feel I really do feel the the mood, you know, I really do feel in the mood to record, so that's always a good sign. Shit, oh, it got me in the ass. <sighs> I've been avoiding them the last, like, two or three times I've run past them as well. So I'm a bit ticked off. I, I got hit there, but oh, well, shit happens. Uh, we'll go in here first of all. We'll use a key with a ta with tag. Key with tag, yep. <laughs> I've got to say Clarkson. In here. What a Clarkson one. It's a noisy devil. Real, real noisy. This is the locker room, I think. Or whatever you want to call it. The office type area. There we go. Um, use it in here. Use the key of tag. Yeah. Don't need the key. Oh yeah, definitely get rid of that. <gasps> and look what we've got. Oh, I've got more go bogan powder. That's sweet as, sweet as. I'm gonna use that for like our first boss fight when I come to it. Just in case people have not played the game before, I'm not gonna like reveal uh, <laughs> what the bosses are or anything. Um, right, okay. I think I know where I'm going here, guys. I think, anyway. Oh, God. Yeah, before the worm comes out. I don't really want to be introduced to the worm. <laughs> but we do have to fight out uh, later in the game, but not now. So I tend to avoid it. Uh, in here, I think. I think this is the room with the elevator. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. 
also a room where the hell was zombies, but the sound of things. I'm definitely sticking up that though. Hanging bullets, hiding away in the corner. Can't believe I missed them before. Boom. <laughs> Right, is the zombie in front of me? Yes, he is. Okay, so let's go. Not work. Well, actually, it did work because it grabbed me. But he didn't actually get a chance to uh, bite me. So, I didn't lose any health. So, that's good. Basically, if a zombie grabs you, just bat and mash. And if you're quick enough, uh, you won't get bitten. So, that's good. Picture this room. Yeah. The only exception is it's a, it's got two pictures. This room's only got one picture, but we have to, uh, we have to fix that. Put up this... Oh, wait a minute! Orange caution! Actually, I think that grab did damage me. Well, if that's the case, the, when they grab you, it does very, very, very little damage. But I think it's because I was badly damaged anyway, so... Hmm, I didn't actually know that, to be honest. But anyway... Yeah, it doesn't look so much better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna combine these uh well oh, ten of these bogan arrows with the explosive powder. And there we go, we've got um our explosive arrows here. Yeah, it's awesome. Really, really useful. So we'll save it though, we'll save it for later. And we have a gold key. Uh, which means we have to go back to the palace. Oh dear. I don't really want to go back to the palace, not again. Back and forth, back and forth. We'll use the walk pick, yes. Oh, it's an F8. First aid spray, way. Good, 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 good. And I think that's everything we need. Alfred Ash Ashford, oh god. <laughs> we'll hear him talk probably pretty soon, I think. Now, in this gold key, we have to do a puzzle in this room. Oh, no. Look at Grammy. No. But, in fact, in fact, I've actually got a solution here, hidden in my uh, residue of covering like an XPS2 game box. Inside the box, I've actually got solutions to um, the tricky puzzles. I don't suppose that the puzzles are tricky. Just, uh, I don't really get them, and I can't be I can't be arsed on camera to figure them out. I mean, you want you want to see the game flow, and you don't want to see me. You don't want to see me stuck in a puzzle for like seven, eight minutes or something trying to figure out a solution. So I tend to always have the always have the combinations on how to solve the puzzles, the tricky puzzles written down on a bit of paper inside the game, inside the game box. So. Oh, yeah, later. Oh, you... No. Oh, it hurt. It stings a bit, you know. Bitch swap. Danger, danger. Got to heal myself right now. Oh, you... Oh, oh. I was so lucky to get away with that. I was so lucky. My commentary is definitely better tonight. I felt happier. Shit. Oh. I forgot to say dogs. I could put myself out of a lot of misery by uh, by killing them. Yeah, it would save dodging them, but you know. I think everyone's got that problem in Resident Evil games. They like to save their bullets. I agree. But often in Resident Evil games, you end up with like far too many. You end up like t with tons of bullets at the end, so. Yeah. Right, there's a zombie here. He's only gonna get in my way. Should I kill him? Should I kill him? Text your answers now. No, I'm not gonna kill him. Use the gold key? Yeah. Walk's been released. Don't need the key, discard it. Yep. And that zombie just... Oh, he's coming towards us very slowly. But it could be there for like five minutes, so... Anyway... Oh, 
Oh dear. This is a painting room. There's a naked angel. We have a... Oh god. I'll actually read this to see if it gives you a clue to a puzzle. So, just for, just for the sake of it. Message to the new family uh, master. I got hiccups. Sorry. Congratulations on your succession. Oh god. Succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may oh. I'm not gonna read it. I really not gonna read it at all. Look how long this is, man. Could be here for like fifteen bombing minutes or something. Nah, it's a bit of an exaggeration. Okay. So you have to press these like pictures like in order. No, don't push the button, it's too soon. So, if I can read this in the dark, uh, it will be pretty, pretty useful. So the first one I've got written here is a painting of a woman. So, a painting of a woman. There's a woman. So, you know, a woman. But, well, hold on. It's a beautiful woman. It's a woman with a tea set. Yeah, that's, so that's the first one. Second one is a man with two babies. He's got a candle. Nope, nope. Man with a bomb and plate. That's definitely not him. And there's a man with two babies. Oh yeah. Yes. Next is a man by himself. He's holding a tea set. Man's portrait. A vase. Man by himself. There's no man by himself. Hold on, hold on. Right, it mentions, right, and in the like later stages it mentions a man of a plate, a man of a book, a man of a candle. And it doesn't mention a guy with, with a vase, does it? It doesn't mention the guy with the vase. But he's got a book. He's got a book, apparently. This is going to be so uh, entertaining for you guys. I'm sure it's like the best part ever. A man holding a... Does it mention a tea set? Does it mention a tea set? I think that's the guy, you know. So, press him. Man of a plate. This would be the guy over here, I think. No, it's a candlestick. That guy's got a plate. Yeah. Yeah, press that. A man with a book, that's the guy over here. Apologies for this, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. And oh, and the last one, no, not the last one, not quite. Man of a candle and then the big painting. So this is the last one, really, before the big painting. So the man with the candle. And, of course, the big painting. And I'll say, you've got done it wrong. I bet, better not, I'll bum and be angry. There we go. That's pretty sweet, that is. Right. It's a woman. No, no, it's a vase. I was talking about the picture, damn it, not the vase. Right. Earthenware vase. There she is. It's a portrait of Alexia. A four earthenware pot is also illustrated. So I'm going to check this. Oh, what a nice, what a nice model, you know. That's fine art, that is. Fine art. Oh, but what's this inside? We have the second one of these. We have the second Queen Aunt. Which also leads us to, like, the final part of this, uh, this island. Kind of. Kind of. So next, I would say, next two parts, or three parts, and this, this, uh, this place will be finished. And we'll be on to our next area of the game. Pretty, uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. I'm not revealing anything. I'm, I'm tempted to say, oh, we're go oh god, I'm tempted to say we're going to this place, but I'm, you know, but I'm not, I'm not revealing anything in case people haven't played this game before, you know. So I'm, I'm trying to be as discreet as possible. Oh god. Where is he? Here he is. 
No, zombie. No, 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 no. So we're going back to that creepy castle again. Oh dear. I don't like the creepy castle. <laughs> okay, so put, put that away. Put away that. No, actually we'll keep that. We'll keep that just in case. So we'll need the ant object, the other one. Where is it? There it is. And I think that is all we need. That is all we need. Next part, guys, we will uh, go back to that castle. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. See you guys.